All right, so in this lesson, we're going to learn about the lead generation ad and naming it correctly so we can identify it later on in addition to accepting the terms of Facebook so that we can actually use the lead generation ad. Several benefits for the lead generation ad instead of sending people from an ad that we're utilizing this type of ad campaign or objective through Facebook is this traffic, if you select this one right here, it's going to want you to send somebody from the ad that you make in Facebook to a website, right? So hypothetically, you have them in the ad, they see your ad, they click your ad, now they go to your website and whatever information and objective that you want is now in front of them. Whereas with this approach, what we do here within lead generation, we actually have them see our ad, let it get their attention, have them and guide them to click an action, when they click the action, a form opens and it asks for their name, their email address, their phone number. Now, Facebook knows your, your first name and last name. They know your email address. And if you're on Messenger, they have your phone number. What's good about this is these things are already filled out for the people so they don't have to go through and type them in and it's, it's less steps that they have to do so essentially it's less resistance so that's why we utilize this approach there are other methods that you can use and i will go into some of those methods in other videos but for this lesson we're going to utilize lead generation and i like to name my campaigns to identify what i'm doing what area I'm going for and you know 30 plus miles how far I'm going out and then if I'm going after a specific career path or type let's say firefighters so that's just me so that I know who this is set up for now I'll copy this I'll go and create the actual ad itself if you haven't created the actual ad account for the Facebook page, you'll see something very similar to this. If you have already done that, you'll see this screen. This was the actual account that I set up for the training of this. So that's why you see that there. Go here to my mortgage firm's Facebook page. Now what's gonna happen is two things. First, you're gonna see an ad set name. Now, I like to post my campaign information there so I can identify that. So this is already there. If you choose to, you can name this however you want. But let's say you're going to target people with this ad that are 30 to 40 years old. So then now, when you have this ad set, you can actually have this one that's going to go after firefighters within a 30 mile radius of Sacramento that are 30 to 40 years old. You would be able to duplicate this ad set and then go after, you know, those that are 41 to 50. So this just helps you to identify exactly what you're doing and who you're targeting. So the next portion within this is actually accepting the terms of services for Facebook. Now, you'll have to go through and read this information. It lets you know there basically you gotta stick to certain rules. You cannot be taking information and giving it off to third parties, things of that nature. So you'll go in there if you're meeting these rules, which I'm assuming that you are, you will agree to the terms and services, and now this will unlock this style of campaign for you. So this is what we're going to work with, and the other things we will start getting more in depth of, the stuff below this. See you in the next video.